There, there. You mustn't get yourself worked up. Wait! Another time, Mythos. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Ludus, scum. Who the fuck invited them? <sighs> Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had today. Where did you learn to do that toggle? <coughs> Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. <sighs> You missed one. We were worried. So was I. I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans lot. In Pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So what? You think they came here to save him? I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So what do we do? We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. After what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? Aye. All right. It'll give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Hey, how are you feeling? Ready to go home? Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's, back when he had some like. The question is, where is he now? And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman? About what? About your faithful hound for a start. 
If any four-legged friend's ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. It'll do. And you do the same, eh? Jill, listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. Not all of the nobles made it out alive. Kupka and his men had their fun with more than a few. And how may I assist you today? How may I help you today? Here you are. The state of the realm is ever-changing, Clive. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Jill looked white as a sheep. And what can I do for you? Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Otto, is now a good time? Mm. It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the curse breakers and their other friends in the west, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. Right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? 
Just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will he be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here. I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... The storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop, like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. If Sid could see you now. All right. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. Say yes, which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? I'll let you know if I need out else. Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Sid's gonna chop off Kupka's head this time.
Blackthorn. You busy? What does it look like? I have a commission for you. From Mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. Was wondering where you'd got to. Mids back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot? Won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment... It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Well, don't just stand there gawping. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bother. Get out of the way. Do, Master Sig? Hard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is I ain't got none. I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do.
What brings you to the rest? Our home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. to fight. If it ain't the lad who saved my life, what brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? Well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I, before we go? Of course. <laughs> well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could, uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. This shouldn't take long.
That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else.
Litlands have been up to their old tricks again. Shouldn't you be getting some rest here? All right, Clive. You've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. <sighs> That's my good deed for the day done. See how Jill's faring. Sid, a team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. A curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but <sighs> this was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that. They know the work is dangerous, but I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? <sighs> Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this, what they escaped, and what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them, what risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgal will track them down.
Ambrosia. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northreach. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid, but we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. You have duties to attend to here. See to the injured. I'll handle the rest. <sighs> All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. I won't let that happen. Thank you. And Sid, it's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. Trying to get into the carriage.
お昼。A friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no worse than another. Perhaps. But we're here to give you another choice. Freedom, safety, the life you've been denied. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you... You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Fine. Do with us what you will. What we'll do with you is take you to safety. After that, it's up to you. Your lives are your own now. You can leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. Sid, welcome back. A Stolas from the Dame arrived not long after you left. If I'd just waited a little longer, I might have been able to deal with things myself. Or maybe I wouldn't. I keep making the wrong decisions. Cole and the others got home safely. You made exactly the right decision. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months, and then I sent Cole and you after them woefully unprepared. What kind of leader sends people into danger without considering all the risks? I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. It's good to see you safe and well, Cole. I'm sorry. With all due respect, we curse breakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. No one with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than sees to that. We all know how much bravery that takes. Cole, I never doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. Thank you for your faith in me. I'm not sure I deserve it. I sometimes wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them. But I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath too. I have a role to play and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. You will. In time. 